to be doing the cannonball routine, you can use the cannonball, which is 16 ounces, and then there is this weighted ball that is 14 ounces. That's the only difference and then the color difference. Drill number one, I just simply snap underneath my leg to my partner. Make sure I have good tape line. Make sure I have fast spin. Make sure I can throw it high. Okay, drill number two, sideways snap. Hold your glove here, using just your wrist, flip. Make sure your catcher's close because you're not going to be able to throw these far. Number three, glove lift flicks. Glove underneath my pitching arm, raise up my pitching arm, bend my wrist only. Now I'm going to flip it to my partner. I would do 15 of each pitch. One more. Alright, back up. Now I start my pendulum. I'm going to keep my feet still, K position, come down, throw from there. Next pendulum is with a step going to be step throw. And the third step of the pendulums is even faster. It's with a jump. This one will look like jump hit. Okay. start our windmills. Keeping our feet still, you're going to stay about 70%. Never max out your arm speed with the cannonball. 70% windmills, nice and smooth. Feel the fingers lifting. Pitch from stride is next. I'm simply going to take a step and pitch. And the final step is full motion from the mound, staying about 70%. Alright, watch your kids closely. Make sure they do not max out their speed with the cannonball. It's simply too heavy to go max out speed. After I've done about 15 reps full motion, get your heavy ball, that eight and a half ounce ball, throw it from the mound as hard as possible. Let's generate more speed and do that about 15 times and then go to your regular ball. The regular ball feels nice and light, almost feels hollow and we should be able to throw it fast. Know that the balls are going to go high because it's so light, release points will temporarily be off but they'll quickly return and let's get more speed by doing our cannonball routine.